The team is on a journey and then I'm personally on a journey, but I feel very grateful. This was not on my radar to come here. I was certainly looking for a place that I thought would be like beneficial for my career, but I didn't know about Ranger. I didn't know about what an amazing club it was. So coming here was like a delight in itself to see the facilities. Today you catch us on a sunny day, which is really nice. Um, but so the facilities, the coaches, uh, the level of understanding of the game, all these things were quite new to me. And now I feel like, oh, it's just another day. Like that's how it has always been. Um, so that's a good, feeling like I really like the girls and all of that stuff. I've got to play, like when I first got here, Champions League, all the things were going on. And now obviously we're in a barn burner. We have some important games to play um, to set us up for next year. So it's kind of been crazy, but in a good way. I've absolutely loved my experience. And of course, I'm thinking about the team and what our team can accomplish now. So football is a language in itself. So it wasn't that crazy. It felt so good to get in my first game to just be like, oh yeah. I don't have to be nervous, like it's just the same game I've always been playing. But of course there's different things. I think it's quite blue collar, we would say that in America, I don't know if you use that term here, but rough and you have to battle for things, especially against certain teams. So, you know, that is a bit different. Um, and then just the inconsistency sometimes of the level, it, it can bring like a mental challenge, I think, for your team because at one hand you're playing these teams that you have extreme rivalry and, um, and then the other, you might, be expected to really dominate a team so it just poses different challenges but like I said it's all football so it's not too too crazy I love the split I heard that that was not a thing last year but I think it's important because once you rise to that level you can stay consistently I think that really shows the level of talent a team might have is can they go back to back every weekend and play a tough opponent uh, it's really how I think it should be and then it comes into play like keeping people healthy all those things that i think are exciting bit of the game it's like how great can we be as a group not just individually how well can we respond how can we keep our energy and enthusiasm for the sport while we're ch in a challenging position so i think it's amazing i really happy that the split is taking place now every weekend it's really exciting to see who we're gonna play and who we're scouting and the training has elevated because of it so I, I think it's a great thing and I'm sure every team feels the same way or I would hope because I, I think it's awesome. And tell us a little bit about your teammates and the group here what's it like? Oh, I love my teammates I actually was just thinking this week like at the beginning I was like great like girls are so nice and now I'm kind of like oh I really like the girls, like, and knowing that I'm from America, at some point, you know, I won't always be in Scotland. Well, who knows, right? You can move your family here, but um, I was just thinking, now I have these relationships with, and I, I consider them my friends. And so that's a really good thing. But I was kind of like, oh, I hope that I'll always stay in touch with these girls. So it's been wonderful. Like the other day was April Fool's and I'm like quite a silly person. So I was going crazy. And I was only going crazy because I felt comfortable to be myself. So. That's a cool place to be. I, I love my teammates. I think everyone is very genuine and nice, and more than that, they love love the game. So it's fun to be with this group of girls. I think you have to know what you're playing for and having a grounding part like of your spirit. I'm very much into my faith. I don't want to push that on anyone. I just, I love God, and he gave me the ability to play. And so I think it's great to care. Of course, you have personal, things that you're striving for and you have a team goal. And so if, if you don't care when you lose, maybe something's wrong because you're, you're really, maybe your heart's not in it. But if you have something that grounds you, it pulls you through. So I take like a short span, like, oh, I hated um, not getting results that we felt that we should. But then I'm excited again the next day because oh, I still get a play and I still have something to fight for. And it's such an opportunity, like I want to give my best to that and enjoy it. So my dad always used to say, just like play hard, have fun. And that sounds quite cheesy. I think, oh, how can you achieve high things with that motto? But that's exactly how you do it because you, you, you just, you play loose and you play free and you go hard with whatever you have, you enjoy it. And that is real strength in my opinion. So kind of a combination of all that I think is important for a high level player and yeah. Yeah and away from football how has it been settling in here? Have your family been to visit? My family has not but they're coming in May um, so I think my brother and his fiance might come one of my other brothers might come so that's in the mix and my parents are definitely going to come which it's been a dream of my parents 
um, to come here. So it's so funny that I'm playing here. I'm so looking forward to them enjoying and seeing everything that I've been living. And then obviously my husband, he visited me right when I got here and then visited me again. And we were everywhere. We were in Inverness and just touring around. He came, got a picture on the men's side of the training facility, stuff like that, that is very, you don't get it in America. I took him to a, a massive game at Ibrooks and he was like, wow, this is amazing, you know? So that's a real cultural experience as well. So it's been really good to have them visit. It's quite difficult since it's far expensive, but yeah, they've been able to enjoy a little bit and I'm looking forward to my parents coming. Before I came, I have a lot of friends that have come overseas, not here, to other clubs. And it's rare that somebody really enjoys their experience overseas. I think because you are really going out of the mainstream of anybody you know, there can be language barriers, people might not accept you in the group, things like this, but it has not been the case for me. And so I feel very blessed. I, you know, I was quite confident with my faith. I'm like, regardless, I have God with me, you know, no matter what happens, but it's been incredible. I, I really am grateful that they have been so kind and genuinely opening their arms to me. And they do that for everybody that comes, you know, we have a diverse team, so I feel very blessed. And that has been huge. Yeah, definitely when you have a massive change like that. And day to day, what, what is training like and, and the levels that training? Yeah, they're high and like I said, people love the game. So day in and day out, the football is on the pitch and people are trying to get better. Depends on what opponent we're facing and what kind of things we're looking at. We've kind of had a consistent theme of some things that I think our group uh, could continue to improve upon. So we're focused on that. But yeah, we're, we're getting after it. Today was really fun. We have to honor my teammates. We have an incredible amount of people away at their national teams, which is so incredible. You don't see that in a lot of teams. Like literally today we had five people at training and that's a blessing because all these other people are accomplishing personal goals, doing amazing things. And that will look great on our club too. It feeds back on our club. But today we just had a small group and maybe other teams, the culture would be like, oh, what are we doing here? But we had so much fun. We rolled out the balls. We had a great technical uh, pattern. Our coaches love the game. So every coach is out there playing around and we got better today. So I like to think that is the attitude of our group all the time, so. Yeah, and it is obviously the final part of the season, but there's still a lot of exciting things to look forward to for the squad and, and a lot of opportunities there too. Yeah, absolutely. Anything can happen. So we need to just put our best foot forward every game, every practice. That's when you win is when you give everything in the gym, when you give everything at practice, when you help encourage your teammates to get better. So all those things we're gonna to continue to focus on like we've been doing all year. And yeah, there's an extreme amount. There's so many things to play for. I can't emphasize it enough. And like I said, people have personal goals and all those things. So we are very motivated and excited to see what we can accomplish this year. And yeah, there's a lot to play for and some massive games. So we'll be ready for those and excited to play in them.